Hi, I'm Adrian Himmelheber coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada at beautiful Canyon Gate Country Club. Today I have a beautiful three-step method for your forehand. Are you struggling with spacing, control, consistency, depth, unforced errors? Well, I have a three-step method for you today that's going to drastically improve your forehand. The three-step method is this, using more kinetic chain, improving our spacing, and improving the finish follow through with the extension. So the first part of this is the kinetic chain. So we're gonna go into the two racket drill here in a second, but I wanna break this down and it's really hot here in Las Vegas. We're at like triple digits. So if you don't mind, I'm just gonna grab the sombrero here because I'm, I'm roasting out here. Woo, it's a hot one. Okay, so the first part of that method, the kinetic chain. How do we get that engaged? So I'm going to put these rackets down and I just want to break down the kinetic chain. So we're going to get our elbows out and on the forehand, we want to keep our elbows away and we want to work this kinetic chain. So elbow, hip and heel, they all work together. Once you get a little bit more comfortable with that, you can kind of go a little bit more diagonal. So a little bit more low to high. The next thing you want to do is maybe grab a racket, hold it at both tips. And we want to get both hands working together. So that heel is coming up, both hands are working together. And then if you even want to work a better parameter, you want to put the racket inside the elbows and have both arms work together. This is going to help us drastically with that kinetic chain, especially if you're using too much arm, you're just too dominant with one hand um, and just using too much arm and wrist. Now, if the racket is a little too long, you can always go with this modification. So both elbows are over the racket and now both hands are going to work together. Now, about a year and a half ago, I had the pleasure of working with Andre Agassi and I picked this drill up from him and he was using both arms in the warm up for a good 10 or 15 minutes just to get him engaged. Now, I kind of picked his brain and uh, I just started kind of problem solving on why he would do this. And the main thing is good spacing, good kinetic chain and his follow through. So in that three step method, he was improving the kinetic chain, the spacing, and also the follow through. I got uh, this Apple watch Siri talking to me still. <laughs> anyway, so going back to that method for the kinetic chain, we want to line this index knuckle up with the V of the racket. So we're almost at a continental grip with the non-dominant hand. Now, when both hands work together, we're going to duplicate the warm ups that I just showed you, but we're also going to work the extension and the spacing. So I have good spacing here. So normally people are lined up right around their hand. We have about a foot extra of space when we make contact with that ball. So I want to break this down as well. Butt of the racket in that left hand out would be a good parameter, but to work on that unit turn, you can kind of crisscross these two rackets and you can work that unit turn. So here's our first part. We're getting set up almost like those elbows are out. And then when we separate, whether you have a little bit more lag than most on the, on the forehand, or if that butt of the racket is lined up, we're in that spot. So we just take that back where we're parallel to the side of the fence if we're hitting and then we work that separation. Now from here, both of these hands are gonna to work together. And then our follow through, uh, our follow through we, we want um, to stay parallel. We wanna make sure that we have good space. So what I don't wanna see is you slinging this arm way out to the side, um, these rackets hitting uh, w when you're hitting the shot, or even these rackets too close. We wanna stay parallel. So going back to what we need to do, we're going to work that unit turn, then we'll work that separation and that spacing and get that kinetic chain going through the swing. And then we want to work this parameter where our follow through the racket is parallel. Now we don't want to finish down here. We want to make sure that we have that low to high finish and don't get me wrong at every different level of the game, we're going to have high balls where we go more across or maybe even high to low when we're really close to the net. But our meat and potatoes, bread and butter part of that stroke is going to be that low to high, which you hear everywhere. But these two rackets are really going to help us get in those parameters. Now, 
Please click the like or subscribe button if you found value in this content. I have plenty more to share uh, throughout the next coming weeks for you. So we wanna just break this down one more time. We work the kinetic chain to warm up, okay? We work the one racket drill, so both hands are working together. And then we can even do this one, where we're inside the elbows, and these are working together. Or if you know we're a little shorter, we don't have uh, such range, we're gonna get both elbows over and work this. So once we have that down, we'll go back to the two racket drill. We can work that unit turn and then that separation. Remember, make sure that you don't forget to put that index knuckle on the V part of the racket. So unit turn, that separation, okay? So we have that spacing, both arms working together, and then we knock out that follow through where these are somewhere around parallel. So we're using more body, better spacing, and then we have a better extension and follow through on the finish. I have a free gift for you that I want to share with you. I've worked with some of the best players and coaches in Spain, and they have a system that works. They've developed players from all skill levels. I want to share that free gift with you, so please click on the link below or somewhere on this page. Make sure your notifications are turned on, and I look forward to seeing you on the court very soon.